How are you feeling there, Scott? Good. Good. So you understand why we're using this, right? Absolutely. To take out the kind of the retraction of the trail sure. arm. This. Get that arm working a bit more. You know, just like a guy throwing a pitch. Yep. Right? You have a little too much retraction and then it makes you kind of respond a little funky, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and use a small T, which is perfect. And I love the way it looks. Go ahead and set up to it. Let me check your grip. Dynamite. And here's what I'm going to do. Make it a little lower, just a little, so it's a hair more below your elbows. Okay. Good. Get your good hands on there. Yeah. Just get it even between your forearms. Perfect. Club fractioning off the ground. Okay. Okay. Good try. A little on the heel, right? So, the reason we're using the ball, okay, it's we're trying to fix this relationship of how the trail hand and lead hand work coming into impact, okay? Your previous swings, you had to, you kind of drew it back and then you had to throw it out there. You didn't, you weren't really getting the golf club in a place where you could really pinch it off the grass, right? That's Touch the ball, right. brush the ground, right? Yep. Okay, get your, get your good hands on there. Okay, gently put a little pressure on the ball and narrow, narrow up the stance since we're hitting a little shorty and give me a little right foot flare. So just a little bit, and, and a little left foot flare as well. Perfect, okay? okay? So the club should be off the ground. Always just, now you keep yourself in this posture or relationship. Let your eyes rest down here. Let me help you with a backswing, okay? So eyes okay. here. I'm gonna take your left shoulder and put it down under your chin, and you're gonna feel that beautiful backswing you just made. And this can soften a bit. Just control the smart ball. Yeah. Okay, good. Now on the way down, do you feel how you have the lifeline of your palm on your thumb? Yes. Awesome. Okay. So let your eyes rest here again. Feel that relationship, lifeline on your thumb, right? Mm -hmm. Now, as you start to go to the ball, eyes here again, we're going to sense that onto a golf ball. Sure. So you see how the palm of your right hand yeah. hasn't gone, your right hand hasn't flattened, hasn't gotten the no. club out. Mm -hmm. The palm is on top of that thumb. And that's also what can give you that sensation of the the logo on your glove kind of working a little bit knuckles down through the strike sure. as you get it right and then the finish you'd be a bit more buns under you heart to the sky now the key to this pal is just to do it slowly yeah. right yeah. good good so eyes on the ball mind in the feelings you got to use eyes in the, mind in the hands okay good try i still think that's a bit too much speed okay okay because we're in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the tee because I think I want you to feel yeah. like you need to, let me demonstrate. Okay, you're good. I'll just use the ball. Come on over here. Right here is perfect. Good. Okay. So the feeling here, once we kind of get this ball sort of comfortably between our forearms, right? We've got a leading edge in this club, don't we? Right? I don't want to use the trailing edge, do I? No. The ball is helping your arms beautifully. But take a look at my right hand on my left thumb. I've taken the hand completely off the grip, haven't I? Yes. Okay. There's a narrow, flary stance. Now from here, guess what I can do? I can let the leading edge... What's the leading edge doing? Kind of mucking up the ground, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Rather than, you know, hitting with a flat club or trailing edge, right? So these little strikes, as I add just a hint of speed to this, right? Just a little speed. You know, kind of a little low bullet with an eight iron out there, 60 yards, right? But what do you notice? What's that thing called? A wee bit of a divot, isn't it? Okay. And the tricky part is the ball's helping your trail arm beautifully. And now we've got to get this sensation of there's this, you got to give a little bit more responsibility to your left arm behavior than your right hand trying to do work, yes. right? Yeah. So you can see how I could take my hand off here and get this leading edge into the ground, okay. right? Come on in here. So we're gonna do control the smart ball, okay? That's helping your right shoulder and bicep, okay? Tricep. Go ahead and get your good hands on there. Dynamite, good. Now, we're gonna put this a bit more middle, okay? Yep. Now take your hand off and hold the ball with your forearms, but your left hand's gonna hold the grip. Dynamite, so this is tricky, not gonna lie. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay, cool. Ready. 
you got control here, but yet you're not touching here, right? That's right. Good. So here's what we're going to feel. Leading edge. Hear that thump? I do. Good. Regrip it. Okay, don't let the grip slide around after the thump. Okay, take your right hand off. Because your right hand needs to be off this deal for a second, doesn't it? Yeah. You see how that's going to take a divot? Yeah. Okay, on your own, a couple thumps. Oh, right? Tricky? Yep. Okay. Not the same sound I'm getting, is it? No, it isn't. And here's the reason. Okay, take your right hand off. You're going over here. If you wanted to touch the ground the same place every time, you, all you'd do is this. You'd sure. go up and down this way. Sure. Agreed? Yes. I can touch the ground every single time right here. So we teach bunker lessons, right? But if I whip it to inside over here, pretty hard to touch over here, isn't it? It is, you're right. Right, so there's yeah. an element that you're missing that is an up. Yes. So that we can touch here, right? Yes. Isn't it true all club golfers think they have to whip it inside to hit a draw? Yes, they do. Couldn't be more wrong. Yeah. Right? The club has to orbit, has to shallow a certain way, to, and it'll kick inside out for you. Okay. Okay? Yep. Good. So, get, so I should be back here. Well, I should, yeah. It's, this is what a backswing would feel like. Yeah. It's not something over rolled in here because it's too far behind you to touch there. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Good. Now, that's a tough drill. Let's put the right hand on. We'll get you where there's some grass now. I'll move you over back here. Put a ball in front of you. Good. Two hands. Okay, now with intent, a short little bullet, right? We want that leading edge to crisply cl collect the ball. Say that five times fast. Right? And hold your finish. Okay. Here. Yeah. Boom. Right? Good. Now get a little closer to it, and you're really far from your work. Good. Awesome. Give me a 40-yard little miss or hit. It's okay to miss. We're developing fields. Okay. So did we touch the ground? No. Okay. Now do me a favor. I've got a nice white shirt on. Here's your chance, pal. Coach is kicking your butt. Pepper me. Give me a good one. Div it right in the chest. Okay. Right in the chest. See what you got. Not even close, man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So do you feel how that wasn't, you don't want to stand there if I'm hitting, I can assure you. Sure. Yeah. Because, right, this right hand is so many years of going this way, the bottom of the club is scuffing along the ground. Yeah. See the difference? Yes. Right? I would pepper you with a thick one, flap, into the chest. Right. So, yeah. get your good hands on there. Okay. Okay? Now, the helpful thought here, pal, is that the ball doesn't go up. It's not your job. Yeah. There's a metal thing designed in the bottom to make up happen. Okay. okay. Yep. Good. Narrow flurry stance close to your work. A little toe flare. Come on. Good. All right. Let this leading edge get stuck in the ground. Okay. How's the ground looking? Same as before. Okay. Good. Not good. Let's fix it, but yeah. good try. Yeah. Get your good hands on so there. So this is just kind of knowing the bottom of my arc. And okay, but it's not that. It's it. your right wrist is going this way. Pushing. Mine's going altogether a different place, okay? Okay. So okay. I should feel that sensation. Yep. As opposed to this sensation. You know it. Okay. Close. Divot, yay, right? Yeah, a little one. Yeah, it's okay, little ones are good. That's all we want. Good, more of that. Okay, so let's come understand this feel, right? This is delivery. Feel that lifeline on your left thumb? Yep. Good. That's gonna take a divot. Okay. 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 Show me. Okay, good try. Touch the ground well, we just touched it where the neck was, right? Sure. Okay, give me another. Oh, hang on. You're good, just a bit more even here. Okay. Good, good, good. And that, my friend, is what we're talking about, right? Yeah. 
Oh, isn't that awesome? Yes. Perfect little divot. Love that. Okay. And so educating your hands, right? You, you would never do that if this arm came back over here. So I know we're talking wrist conditions, but really before we even get to wrist conditions, before you can actually touch the ground properly, right? The trail arm's got to get in a place where it's not behind you so much, or you're always going to just be shoving the club out. Yep. Okay? So you've got the smart ball between your forearms, and now you can kind of get this condition in here where you can take a divot and follow through. Does that make sense? Yes. Awesome. So continue that theme. Great stuff, right? Okay. Managing the trail arm better so that we can support how the club, you know, this left arm kind of goes into this supination fancy word for it it's going to you know eventually the weight of the club is going to get it out to the golf ball mm -hmm. we don't want to feel like the right arms coming from someplace behind us thrown it that way sure you get it good job yeah. bud thank you